Good morning, y'all. This is my little coffee corner, and I want to show y'all how I make my rice mushroom coffee. Now, my auntie put me on to this, uh, I guess about a few months ago, maybe even a year ago, but I was kind of skeptical. I ain't gonna lie to you. But it is a mushroom coffee mixed with regular coffee. It's vegan. It has 2,000 milligrams of mushrooms. It's hard. It has cordyceps for energy, reishi mushrooms for stress relief, lion's mane for focus, shiitake mushrooms for immune support, turkey tail mushrooms for healthy digestion, and king's trumpet for fighting stress. And this is how you make it. And then you see the ingredients. It even has the MCT oil um, and organic coconut milk in it. All right. So, and this is the little card they sent me. How to make the latte. And then they have a welcome card. All right. So, got my cup here. Got my curry. All right, I don't know why I chose to do this with my right hand, knowing that I'm left handed. I want to show y'all how it looks in the inside the bag. It looks like this it's just like mushroom coffee. All right, but it's delicious, y'all. It depends on how you want to make yours. So it came with this spoon, this wooden spoon, which I think is so cute. It has rise on the end. All right. So my friend Brittany put me onto this. I've been trying to get off of table sugar. So now I'm using agave nectar. I'm almost out of it. <laughs> and then I love hazelnut, but since I'm already adding a sweetener in it, I decided to use the zero sugar. Before this creamer, I was using the limited edition frosted gingerbread sweetener with this. And it was so good. All right, y'all. So, let me use this little spoon. I think I used too much. But, I'm trying to record and do a review at the same time, y'all. Oh, my. Hold on. And I'm not right-handed. I'm left-handed. Okay, so we got a little bit. <laughs> it's a little more than a tablespoon or a teaspoon, but it's gonna do what it do. We should reset our bag to keep it dry. All right, and then I like to go ahead and add my sweetener in it. Now, don't judge me now, y'all. Like I said, I'm coming off a table sugar. All right. And then. This curry that Jakari got me a few years ago, it has an ice feature, so you can do ice coffees too. But I like my hot coffee, so I'm gonna do hot water. And I'm gonna do about, I need a big cup this morning. Now y'all saw me with my Dunkin' Donuts at my Starbucks yesterday, but I drink this twice a day. If I'm at home, I drink this twice a day. And you can consume up to two cups a day. And I know it's mushroom coffee, but y'all, it doesn't taste like mushrooms. If that makes sense. So it's going. Let me get a close up view for y'all. Let me stir it up, cause yeah, looks a little clunky. I know it looks watery, but it's delicious. I wouldn't lie to you. You can't even taste the difference. Now, something nasty, I'm going to tell you, is nasty now. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to let it right there. And don't judge me on my creamer, neither, because I love me some creamy coffee, y'all. Shake this up a little bit. But you can add whatever cream you want to. I done tried dried creamer, I done tried coconut creamer, oatmeal creamer, almond milk creamer, but I always come back to my coffee mate. All right, and I'm not gonna show y'all, show me taste testing, cause I got on my head bunny and I just woke up. All right, so y'all see that? 
All right, so y'all get it a try. This is the Rise Mushroom Coffee, of course, with creamer. All right, y'all. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.